three minutes. You've got 90 seconds to finish these plates. Typical, honestly. Stop! Everybody, stop! Stop, stop, stop. Time is up. Oh, my goodness. OK. We're expecting a stellar performance. Up you come. Stella has cooked country fried chicken breast, spiced with cayenne pepper, served with paprika potatoes and a creamy chicken gravy. That is perfectly cooked, that chicken in there. Absolutely perfectly moist. It's lovely and soft and a real lovely crispy coating across the top. Potatoes have got paprika on, making that dish even more spicy. Everything on there is, is hot and peppery. That's how I like it. Could I... you bring a pitcher of beer next time? Because <laughs> that's going to make you thirsty. Well, I hope so. You know how to cook a piece of chicken, that's for sure. I love the crispy crunch of the outside. The sauce, I think that's really, really delicious. It's really lovely, very addictive. Thank you. Stella's dessert is a banana and custard pudding with banana liqueur and shortbread biscuits topped with brown sugar. That to me is very, very sweet. Oh, is it? It tastes as it should do with the bananas and custard, but there's very little texture in there because the banana dissolves in your mouth. The custard, of course, washed away and you got a little bit of biscuit. It's tasty enough, could be a lot smarter. Thank you. This is a very wet dish. It's also too sweet for me. However, that is fantastic custard. I, I felt proud of, of what I served. <laughs> well done, Stella. I'm not a fancy cook or, you know, high-end cook. I'm used to it being nurturing and comforting. I feel like I achieved that. You're relieved. Yes. Lisa's main is sirloin steak in a red wine and mushroom sauce with parmentier potatoes and rocket. Your steak's cooked beautifully. Medium rare as it should be, well seasoned, you let it rest. I love the soft mushrooms in that red wine sauce. Your little potatoes are crispy on the outside. I think that's a great steak and chips. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so chuffed. Your potatoes are wonderful and crisp, and that sauce is a triumph. <gasps> that is a quality, quality sauce. Lisa's dessert is lemon posset with blackberries, topped with chervil and edible flowers. Your lemon posset is really nicely made. I like the sharpness of the blackberries in the background. It's nicely presented, makes you feel comfortable. Like you're in Granny's house and she's looking after you. I think the addition of a little bit of light aniseed chervil across the top of that lemon is a great idea. Lisa, you've done really, really well. I can't believe it. It's wonderful, thank you. I feel completely elated. <laughs> I actually did not expect that reaction at all. I feel quite emotional. It's, it's you know, it's crazy.